I think it's shameful when athletes talk about, oh, it's a private matter. It is not a private matter because it affects anybody that's standing right next to you. You're not living you. a private You're life. You're not living a private life. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Stephen A. has a little something to say. I think the vaccination decision is a private, very private health matter for me. To the anti-vax Kirk Cousins. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, that just tends, you know, first, that, I mean, that's just a personal uh, thing. With New York Jets anti-vaxxer and NFL draft anti-masker Zach Wilson. Yeah, trust me, it's, it is a personal decision. I'm not going to go into depth on, on why. If I hear one more person, Marcus. Talk to me about what's in the vaccine. Oh, my God. I, I, swear, I, I, I might slap it with my phone. I, I can't know. take it. You know, Stephen A., we can't take it either. Because people are dying through the pandemic of misinformation instead of just taking the damn vaccine. Also, the flu shot, you know, chicken pox, and all, all these shots you've been taking all of these years. All right, uh, excuse me. Molly, people take supplements and vitamins. I so know. now what we're trying to say you see, is we're trying to front. Oh, what we do is we look at the bottle and we dissect every yeah. ingredient I'm in the you. supplement, the vitamin, and then we Google it I'm and we you. look it up. To, you're a damn liar. These people, we go to the doctor, we feeling sick. The doctor prescribes the medicine. You we go to the CVS, Rite Aid or something. We pick it up and we take the medicine. Why all of a sudden we acting like, oh, we dissecting and picking apart one ingredient after another. It's the biggest damn lie imaginable. This dude is on point. Then again, here's your audience. Well, it's, uh, no, I forget. Hydrochloroquine. Something. I, I can't pronounce it. The easily deceived. When you go to rob a when you go to rob a listen to me and when you go to rob a bank, that's when you wear a mask. As in giving endless crap to Salvation Army workers. Not when you're not when you're representing a nonprofit organization. Can you please stop yelling at us? A fairly simple request. Let's just see if the Salvation Army is going to invite you back. All right, all right. Completely unhinged for people trying to raise money for societal means. Nonprofit organizations do not have criminals wearing masks representing them. It's a disgrace so, so to America. America. Yes, it's a national disgrace to wear something that protects you from dying. Here's another episode of white people losing it. Where a woman in Chipotle berates employees over mask mandates. Thinking she's being noble in her stance, she continues on. You know what? This is modern day segregation. Here's strike one. I love all of you people. You know what? I love you. I love you. You're a beautiful woman. I am not. I am not. Oh, go away. Fucking bitch. There's a big strike two. And strike three is when this MAGA charade is finally over. It may have been the perfect opportunity for the employees to say, ma'am, this is a Chipotle. What gets me is American citizens, in the middle of a pandemic not seen since roughly 1918, continue to endure unwanted distress from folks like this just to make a buck from a corporation in this country.